hi it's Agnes and welcome back to my channel I am back and today I am going to do um, my handbag collection it's a continuation I've been doing uh, in by color but today I'm doing my Louis Vuitton my vintage Louis Vuitton monogram print so this is not the entire Louis Vuitton because I haven't included my imprint I haven't included my epi leather uh, I haven't included um, uh, well, other designs of Louis Vuitton. So the only Louis Vuitton I'm doing today is the monogram print. And this is the, the brown, the classic monogram print. So yeah, I've got uh, bags. I've included a few SLGs that are bigger. Not the wallets and the like, but of like the clutches. So this is entirely, it's uh, the entire uh, monogram print um so let me get started let me show you what i have in my uh louis vuitton monogram vintage so these bags i'm going to show you probably 90 percent are vintage bags i don't think there's any modern brand or any modern modern bag that all vintage so the first bag i'll show you is my classic speedy uh 30 uh in this monogram print uh it's a classic speedy 30 which i've had for for years one of my first bags and yeah it's highly patinaed as you can see um yeah nothing much to say it's just a classic speedy 30 so i have uh a speedy 30 in the um bandolier style as well i'll just show you the bandolier and here it is so this is the uh, speedy 30 speedy monogram 30 in the bandolier so the bandolier has a strap so i'm using the strap on another bag i'll show you when we get to that yeah so this is the, the monogram monogram uh, bandolier and then the next bag i'm going to show you is my uh sofia coppola in the monogram print so this bag is like my travel piece is right here it's in the uh the monogram print as well so this bag was designed for an actress called sofia coppola and it was designed to look uh like to be like in between a speedy uh design and a cupo so they designed it for sofia coppola you can uh, google the details about the sofia coppola i'm not sure whether it's still in production but i know this one is a vintage um one because they were designed like years and years ago so here it is it's in a good condition obviously it's more than 20 years old and it's highly patinaed and not so much wear it's just the age to the bag that you can see but otherwise yeah you can google check the history of the sofia coppola and and Louis Vuitton. otherwise it's a beautiful beautiful bag that i like to have in my collection it's a very very well made bag so i like to use it as a travel bag as a carry-on bag so we'll continue with the monogram i have my trues uh, i think it's a trues 29 the biggest of the trues collection the trues comes in three sizes so this is the biggest uh yeah 29 it has no the trues has no um Vachetta to it. It's just all um, monogram canvas. I choose 19. And then let's carry on. All right, I'll show you my dragon. So this is the dragon, uh, vintage dragon clutch. It's supposed to be a clutch or wristlet. So it came with a wristlet. Originally, when it came, it only had this wristlet and only one D ring. But I watched somebody on YouTube access right um doing a DIY so they added another D ring there so they DIY they made a hole perforated on the leather vachetta leather and added a DIY uh, um D ring so that's exactly what I did I got some tools I wish I showed you like a leather perforator I wanted to take it to the cobbler but when I watched the video I thought I could do that so and then I did. So I just bought this special uh, leather perforator 
and it just perforates it really neatly and so easily and then I bought this D-ring and then I added it to here so now it's a, a crossbody bag but the lady that I watched on YouTube after remove this because this is an, an it's not detachable so if you don't want it you can simply cut it because you can't you can remove it it's a permanent uh, wristlet thing but I thought I'll leave it there yeah the only trouble is that it just when you carry it it's not kind of hard but I don't mind really keeping it there so that if I want to use it as a, as a clutch I can simply re detach the strap and just use it as a clutch it's a gorgeous piece and you can still find these on the pre-loved market they're vintage so they're not in production anymore and I think they come in three sizes if I'm not mistaken but it's one of my favorite bags in my collection it's a gorgeous gorgeous bag so that's the trues um, I forgot one bag I'll get it in a minute so another vintage bag that I have in my collection so this one is very very old so this is before Louis Vuitton started using the vachetta so they were using coated uh, leather so this is what it's made of um, the brown leather bit there is the coated leather and it's vintage this bag was made in the 60s 70s just a very very old Louis Vuitton bag and uh, yeah not sure of the name I was once told and I forgot again as usual so <laughs> I forget the names I need to write them down so yeah it's an entire leather bag it's a very uh, beautiful bag by vintage Louis Vuitton bag and it's got the Louis Vuitton print there yeah, it's a gorgeous piece. It's one of my favorite and my recent purchase in my collection. I wanted this bag for a very long time until I find found it from a Japanese seller, and I enjoy this bag. It's a very classic, sort of uh, beautiful. I mean, ladylike bag. So it's it's so pretty. One of my favorite, like I said. So another bag that I'd like to show you is this bucket bag right here. It's in the multicolor um, noir, which is black. It's in the yeah multicolor black. It's called the Noé, and it's so beautiful, guys. It's so beautiful. Love the colors and love the honey patina. It's just got some honey patina to it, which is really uniform. And the strap is adjustable so it's a, another recent purchase that came from japan as well it comes in white and one day i'd like to own this bag in the white color this isn't so much patina there is a bit of pat honey patina on the bottom but the vachetta is in really good condition and the bag itself is in good condition apart from a bit of pinning inside otherwise yeah so much in love with this bag and the tag is just perfect yeah love that bag so uh we carry on my next bag i am going to show you is my um it's a vintage vintage um uh, a pochette accessoire so this pochette accessoire comes in uh i think it's is it so there's only a mini pochette and the pochette accessoire but this one is the old model, the recent model, which has been uh, reissued, is a bit structured and I think a little bit bigger in size, something like that, because it has a pocket inside, but the old model, which is this one, has no pocket inside. But it doesn't matter. I like this one as well. And I just like to accessorize it. So there's a little scarf there, a silk scarf. I've accessorized with this resin strap and uh, um, like a canvas uh, sort of monogram um, not monogram but a canvas um, charm and yeah it's so pretty it's so pretty I feel like this piece is a must-have piece you can find this on the pre-love market Louis Vuitton still make this bag but they obviously the design is slightly changed I think the newer one is better because it's got a pocket inside but yeah gorgeous piece to have in my collection so let's carry on another piece that i love and i adore so much in my collection is this bag called the city bag it's a vintage bag it's called the uh, viva city but it, 
it's called city bag very vintage again i think this was made in the 80s this bag according to my research but you can still find this bag on the pre-loved market it also comes in three sizes a smaller this is the medium size there's a bigger one and there's a medium one this is the medium one and there's a smaller size but you can still find these bags on the pre-loved market so it's called the city bag and that is the back and those are the sides and it's got a huge this chunky strap yeah it's just slight patina on the strap so one of my favorite bags called the city bag so if you're interested you can you know check look for it on the pre-loved market i always find it yeah I like and i like this size i think this is the best size if you want the city bag the small one is too small and then the big one is a little bit too big and this is the perfect size so that's the city bag so the next bag i'll show you is my eva clutch it's another recent purchase this bag this clutch came from japan it's a well used uh clutch you can tell the, the vachetta leather is got some wear so this bag comes with a chain strap which is uh only detachable on one side you can just detach it and attach it there to carry it as a wristlet but i like to use it as a crossbody as well so i'll attach my speed bandolier strap and use it as a crossbody when i'm going shopping it's actually quite roomy it looks small but it can hold a lot in it so that's the eva clutch i don't think they're still in production anymore but you can find these bags on the pre-loved market they're always there i think it's also you can find it in the in the uh, damier uh a bin but yeah, mine is in the damier i mean is in the monogram print so that's the eva clutch so we've got a few more and then the next bag i'd like to show you is one of my favorite bags that i like so much to have in my collection is right here it's a vintage bag that you would rarely find so this bag is called the ellipsy backpack ellipsy backpack yeah that's the name so you can still search on the on the pre-love market these bags were also made in the uh, uh the ap leather yeah i don't think i haven't seen any in the damier bin but i've seen the ap leather they're actually standing in the ap leather so that's the front of the bag and that's the back i just like the vachetta on the back so it's um on the go kind of bag i really love love this little bag the ellipse backpack is so so beautiful so mine obviously is a discontinued piece but you can find this bag on the pre-loved market they're always mostly they're always there that's my ellipse backpack so beautiful so let's carry on with the monogram print um so the next bag i'll show you is this beautiful uh, pouch but i've turned it into a bag so i've attached the resin strap just like i did to my uh pochette accessoire so i attached to this strap so this is a pouch that comes with the bucket bag but i mean you can use it as a clutch so i like to use it as a clutch i won't necessarily carry it on my shoulder because i mean it's just like an additional kind of charm so when i go out for dinner you know i'll just carry it like this in my hand as a clutch or you can just simply put it under your uh, under your arm so that's my uh, pouch that comes with the um bucket bag and then change into this beautiful little bag so we've got like five more bags and or six more bags six or seven so the next bag i'll show you is another recent purchase again this bag came all the way from japan so this is my speedy 30 in the um multicolor noir as well it's so beautiful so these bags are so rare to find so when you find it just get it so i was looking for one for ages and every time i found them then i didn't have the money but then then yeah i tried to save up and then i looked for a fairly priced one still on the expensive side but i could afford this one because it had a little bit of a fault but not that much it's still in a good condition so it came from japan in the multicolor noir and yeah it's got the honey patina 
which I think it needs a little bit of cleaning, but nonetheless, it's a good, good bag. The gold hardware is a little bit faded, but that doesn't matter. And here it is, beautiful bag. It's got the key and everything. So that's my Water Color Noir Speedy 30. Right, um, right, let's have a look at this one. The next one is my Alma, my, my Alma uh, PM in the monogram print. Yeah, so here it is. It's a vintage uh, Alma in this monogram print. Again, it's an old model. I don't know the difference between the ones that they make now, but this is the vintage one, which is more than 25 years old. It's an old, old bag. I know it's got lots of stains, but that doesn't matter. I appreciate its edge. And it's still got this original um, look. So beautiful. Yeah, love this bag. It is so, so gorgeous. And let's carry on. We've got a few more. We're nearly done. Yeah, I can assure you we're nearly done. So the next bag I'll show you is the um, bucket bag. It's a mini bucket bag. Love this little bag. I do adore it. One of my first bags, I think. Yeah, one of my first uh, Louis Vuitton bags that I got. It's somewhere on this trap, but that doesn't matter. It can still, they're still usable. And it's so good. Still in a very good condition. There's no cracking to the uh, canvas. The leather has got some patina, but it's fine. It's got four feet. It's just the straps that I got some a bit of wear, which I can easily replace when I go take it to the cobra, to the co cobra rather. Um, yeah, otherwise it's a very good, um, very pretty bag. I love it. <coughs> Excuse me. So the next bag is uh, the bigger version. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. The bigger version of the, the, the bucket bag. So this is the medium one. I think there's a larger one than this one. So this is the smallest. And then this is the medium. It's a PM. And then there's one, there's a GM. So this is MM, PM, and then the GM. So look at the difference. So we've got the bucket bag here in the PM size. And it's got some honey patina. It's a gorgeous bag. It's one of my favorite bags as well. Love this bag. I mean, yeah, it's a beautiful bag. I just love, love my Louis Vuitton vintage bags. So it's vintage again. So these two are vintage. Like I said, um, um, I collect uh, vintage bags. Because Louis Vuitton has revolved so much. It's, a, it's, a, it's changed. They're making all sorts of different um, designs now. So beautiful though. I think I have like a couple of the... Uh, New designs which are not here because I'm doing the monogram today. But it's so it's changed. So it's really good to have the old bags in your collection. The classics. So and most of these bags I've shown you are they are classic pieces. So the next classic piece is this PD30 in the uh roses by Steven Sprouse. It's called the Roses Print by Steven Sprouse. So it was a limited edition, I'm not sure which year. But they did make the, the uh they also did the never full with these roses and i think they did the pochette accessoire this one in the roses i've seen it and i think i've seen a wallet as well i've seen the alma actually in the roses as well but it was in the ep it was in the vinyl leather but with the roses print otherwise it's a very gorgeous bag i like the fact that it's limited edition uh speedy 30 so beautiful to have in my collection and then i have two more three more actually i'll get one up i forgot one up there i'll get it in a minute so i've got two these two special bags so the next bag i'll show you is called the um it is called the sack sack bandolier yes yeah, called the sack bandolier it's a very vintage bag again it's i think the same era as this one where is it this one when they did when they used the coated leather rather than the um vachetta so they use coated leather you can see it's kind of the same so it's the same period i think in the 60s 70s so this is when this bag was made it's called the site bundle yeah you can check it out 
you can still find them on the pre-love market very rare a few people have showcased these bags on youtube and this strap goes round it's detachable you can completely remove the strap and then just use this as a pouch uh, like a travel pouch but yeah it's a very very well made bag i mean everything vintage i do love so the like sack bandalier in the monogram print and the good thing i like about these bags the vintage ones the same applies to the other one the interior is normally all leather so it's a beautiful crossbody bag uh, camera sort of bag i love to have in my collection so the last oh i've got two more i'll just show you this one then i'll get the other one that i left up there so the next bag is one of my recent purchases uh one of my recent purchases it also came from japan it's in it's called the reporter's bag a vintage bag uh this bag is stunning guys let me just show you it is stunning you can see the, the two zipper pulls there and so it's got two compartments and it's got this uh is it nylon what do you call this nylon or canvas strap and um it's got this huge pocket on the front and it's a massive pocket so this bag is called the reporter's bag and then the bag it's just plain but the front that's right it has this uh bacheta piece there so i don't know why it's called the reporter's bag but it's got just the strap is adjustable and it's just oh i love this bag it's a very good travel for tra I mean, it's a very good travel bag and um, you can carry your documents your camera and most of the necessities for traveling it's a gorgeous gorgeous bag which i have for a long time so the next bag i'm going to show you let me just get it it is somewhere here just give me a second it's, uh, I forgot about it, but I've got it right here. It is my vintage, um, vintage sack, cabasa mezzo, rather. It's called the cabasa mezzo tot. My little tone in the monogram. It's very vintage, it's very patinaed, as you can see. So, yeah, this bag, I use it like. Most of the time, especially when I'm going to, I'm going to university, I will carry this bag because it, I will pack a lot of things in here. I used to have a Neverfull, but I gave away my Neverfull, two of my Neverfulls to my daughter. One the monogram, one the dummy a bean. I thought I was going to replace it that easily, but I haven't managed to replace it that easily. But I will because I love the Neverfull. So yeah, that's the Kabasa Mezo. So that's it. That's all my um. That's all my monogram uh, print bags and today I'm just wearing my Louis Vuitton um, scarf. It's a vintage Louis Vuitton scarf. Quite worn. I've had it for I think close to 10 years this scarf. Yeah, close to 10 years. I've had it for a long, long time. So yeah, that's it. So that's all I have to show you and then uh, I think in another video I can show you the uh, the other prints like the the veni the epi yeah and the limited edition so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed watching this video give us a thumbs up and if you're new ever subscribed to my channel please subscribe to watch more of my videos and uh thank you so much it's bye for now i will see you soon